In today's video, I will teach you how to use scripts and plugins in GIMP. Let's get started. Are you curious about the concept of actions in GIMP? Well, it might seem like the numerous menus, dialog boxes, and commands within GIMP cover everything you need. Actions, or scripts as they are called in the GIMP world, offer a way to streamline repetitive tasks and add functionalities not directly provided by GIMP. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to utilize scripts and plugins in GIMP. The first step is searching and downloading. Start by finding a script that fits your needs. You can create your own scripts if you're comfortable with programming, but if not, there are plenty available online. Check out websites like GIMP Plugin Registry for a wide range of scripts and plugins. The next step is installing. Once downloaded, unzip the file and copy the script to the appropriate directory in your GIMP installation. These are the typical locations, and you can confirm the directory location by going to Edit, Preferences, then go to Folders, then Scripts. After applying the script, refresh the scripts list in GIMP by going to Filters, Script Foo, then Refresh Scripts or by restarting GIMP. And here's how to use the script. Depending on the script's functionality, you may find a dedicated menu item or a submenu under an existing menu in the GIMP interface. Some scripts may also be accessible through the right-click context menu when applicable to your current tasks. And here's the difference between plugins and scripts. In GIMP, plugins and scripts are two ways to extend its functionality. While they have different development methods, the terms are often used interchangeably, and both offer overlapping features. Here are some recommended scripts or plugins. The first one is the FX Foundry Scripts Pack which offers a variety of useful scripts for tasks like animations, layer styles, and more. The second one is Mask for Prints, a handy plugin that helps visualize the printable area of a photo based on the current paper size. And the third one is UF RAW, ideal for working with raw image files, providing additional editing capabilities within GIMP. By following these steps and exploring the vast array of scripts and plugins available, you can enhance your GIMP experience and streamline your workflow effectively. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, incorporating scripts and plugins into your editing process can greatly expand your creative possibilities in GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.